Hi, this is Exploring with Em and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And we're going for a really long walk. Uh, today we're going to be doing a hike and a wild camp, our first ever. Mm -hmm. And we're quite looking forward to it. I've got my stupid hat on. We've had our lunch. We've had our lunch. McDonald's yet again. <laughs> you check out our vlogging channel. We had the same last week. Oh no, did we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Oh. We did, yeah. Okay. We, I, I, Maybe we'll edit that bit. No, nah, don't edit that bit. No, we're going to go on a wild camp today. It's our first one. Um, we picked the worst day for it. Yeah, it's a bit drizzly today. day. Yeah. It is a bit drizzly today, but we're going to be, um, yeah, we're going to do a scan of roughly where we are now. And as we go along, we'll we'll put the camera on. And you can see how crap and you can see, is. Yeah, you can see how crap our video is today, because this <laughs> is our first ever one. So we'll see you in a little while. Mm -hmm. Just walking uh, to where our destination is, and uh, can yeah. We, can we tell them where we are? Yeah, you can tell them where we are. Where yeah. are we? Clacton. We're in Clacton. We're in Clacton, and we're going to St. Joseph. Yeah. Roughly. Up by Leon C. Leon C. And hopefully we can get an explore done at the same yeah, time. Because there's some more stuff down there. Yeah. So we're going to do that, and that's why we always said we're going to do wild <laughs> camp explores, not um, just wild camping. Yeah. So we're going to give this a go. This is certainly very wild. Yeah. So you've got you've got Emma with her backpack. It's got a tarp and all her bits. It's about, and you, it's about 15, 16 kilograms. I'll, I'll probably yeah, got probably. I'll probably got about 20 about kilos. Three ton. About, about three, three ton. ton. <laughs> a fat man in a rack sack. That's it. So. That's our new channel. Yeah. Check it out. Fat man in a rack sack. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, we're going to get going now, but. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get to the Martello Tower, we'll do a few little scans of that and we'll put them in the video. So, see you in a minute. Built at the beginning of the 19th century, from the time of the French Revolution, Martello Towers are small defensive forts, mainly situated along the coast. At a height of 12 metres tall and solid masonry walls, they are resistant to cannon fire. They were manned by a garrison of around 15 to 25 men and would have housed a single piece of heavy artillery mounted on the roof. Many were adapted and reused for World War I and II when we were yet again threatened with invasion. Today, most sit either derelict as unique houses or museums, but all go on as a permanent reminder of our wartime history. Right, um, we're literally coming up to, so I'm really about my sore throat, I've got a bad sore throat to do this tonight, but we're actually coming up to uh, JP now, uh, we'll be heading towards St. St. Osef, we've done about two and a half miles, near three, know, roughly, like, maybe, a couple. couple, yeah, from so where we parked up, when it comes to like time scales, nah. time scales, anything like that, fucking useless actually, um, yeah, but, we've been walking for about five minutes apparently, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said that earlier, uh, but yeah, we're coming up with Jay Wick now. Now we want to switch the camera off because we don't want to say anything offensive while we're walking through. Yeah, because it's the highlight of the walk. Exactly. So, so see. I'll just let you enjoy it. Exactly. So see you in a minute. Right. We're uh, coming up to another Martello Tower now. Which is just here. It looks like it's like a museum now. Um, Quite a lot of them are, aren't they? Museums, yeah, this one. Holiday homes. It's actually got the gun on top of that a cannon. 
of some sort. Yeah, you can just see it out there. It looks like a museum. Looks like uh, they had caravans all along it. At one yeah, point one point, yeah. It looks. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's open, but we ain't going in it today. No, 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 no. Unless they've got a toilet. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah Emma really wants to wait. Sorry, I'll have to jump over the LC wall in a minute. Yeah. Well, like actually, a proper commoner. <laughs> yeah, a proper commoner. But um, we hope you're enjoying the video up until this point. A couple of scans, a bit of information. Not too which, much to see. But... Nah, but we're only on our walk, so most of the stuff's going to be when we get to our wild camp. So stay tuned for that. So, fat man in a hat, signing off. Right, we finally found a toilet for Emma. And she's just gone for a wee. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Not in, not, not on the beach. Not the best facilities. No. A little toilet review for you. Uh, but not the worst, but they didn't have a mirror. So oh. probably a mess. Uh, I couldn't do my lipstick or anything. See? So, <laughs> but we're going to, uh, we're nearly to where our point of destination is. Here, there you are. There you go. Naturalist. You can see that. <laughs> the naturist beach. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're going to get naked. Well, I'm not. Stu's Emma looking, might. Stu's looking for the swingers apparently. Uh, swingers, yeah. Third beach along, I think. Is it a third beach along? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. Uh, but we're nearly at our destination, so we'll uh, we'll put the cameras on when we uh, when we get there. So see you in a minute. Okay, well, we've reached to this place called Leon Sand. And if you look in the distance here, we've got two houses, two houses here, just behind it. Uh, just, know, it's just literally behind there, is the um, pillbox, which we're going to try and have a look at. We might sneak down this path if we can get away. If with we it. can get away with it, we if don't not, know if it's we'll private. We'll take a scan because we've got so many tank blocks and stuff. Yeah, there. so, all right then, so we'll see you in a minute. We hope you're enjoying the video right now. So, fat man in a hat, see you in a little while. Right, we're just coming through this little, I don't know if it's like a town or a village. I mean, I mean, this place is in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing for miles going that way and there's nothing for miles going this way. Not even a public road to it. Is no, it? there's nothing. And if you have a look, this is, this, is it. this is it. There's just no cars, there's nothing. It's just really freaky, isn't it? A bit, yeah. It's really freaky around here. So, um, but we're nearly at our destination which is the nudist beach at St. Joseph, or that's what they call it anyway, it ain't a St. Joseph. So, yeah, so over here, as you can see, oh, Emma's in the way. Uh, over here and here, this is all derelict. This isn't used, none of this. Uh, this house just looks like an old war, a war thing here. It's just, it's really, really strange. Uh, uh, it's just, you can hear a dog. Where that's coming from, I really don't know. But we're going to carry on walking along this coastal path now, and uh, we'll see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Just walking along a really nice bit of coast now. Emma's got a couple of nice scans of the coastline here. It's, it's really, really nice. And it's about quarter to seven at the, in the evening now, roughly, is that right? Yeah. About quarter to seven. Uh, we're doing quite well, actually. Uh, it looks like we're coming up to a, an abandoned area, actually. It looks like a little bit of abandoned. So see gas bottles and everything at the top there, but I'm gonna turn the camera around, you can have a look. Right, as you're coming up here, you can kind of, it's like an old boat, I don't actually know, but if you can see up there, it looks like a man-made bench, which we saw one a little while ago. But this is all, that's just Brighton on sea. But this actually looks like it's been dumped here. Yeah, it's an old day boat. It has been dumped here. Yeah, it's dumped. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. Whoa, look at all that. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, put a few snaps in. Got a portaloo up there as well. I could take uh, just portaloo just there. Looks like a bit of a dump site, doesn't it? Well, we're close to the house. We are, yeah. Wow, this looks like it's been here for some time, actually. So, yeah. That's really cool, isn't it? So, we've got a little bit of war stuff, a little bit of an urban boat thing today. And there you go. Stu's trying to put his chair together, look. <laughs> You'll hate me for this. It's alright, like, I'm sitting on mine already, look. Hey. <laughs> we are a bit knackered. Right, we'll come back in about two hours' time. Hopefully I'll have it put together. Hey, and we have a chair. He wants to thank his mum, his family, <laughs> and everyone else I for giving the ability to make his chair. <laughs> <laughs> right now we just got to put up a tent yeah. and cook some food and everything else. In this lovely little spot we've chosen here, look. Yeah, we wanted to go up there, but fish. Like someone's done a wild camp here before. Yeah, we, we're wondering whether Tom was here. <laughs> <laughs> The fishermen over there nicked the best spot though. Yeah, like, oh, we want to go over there. Anyway, I think we better uh, better start getting set up. It's going to get dark. Yeah. So, After about five minutes. All right then. So when we come back, we'll all be set up, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Right. Here we are, nearly set up. So the picture isn't the best because obviously it's night time now. Maybe we'll, we'll do some in the morning. We'll do some in the morning, but we'll do, we'll do a bit tonight. Emma's just setting up her OEX table. Review Emma? On your own. You haven't used it yet, like but putting colour. it together. I like the colour. No, well that just took me a minute. Put it together, yeah. lovely. I'll pop that. You might want to spread your legs out a bit more on there. Because oh, there yeah. it's it. I'm not oh I'm on the slope. You're on the slope. But we've got our I'll sort of stand up and give you a bit of a thing around the camp. We've got the we've got a, a tarp. Um, what's the tarp called? It's just a, a cheap decathlon quetchua. Okay. 25 quid. 25 quid. It's not the best, but it does the job. Yeah, okay. Just in case, because we expect a bit of rain. Obviously. Yeah, tonight we are, but we've got inside, we've got... No, no, do you know what? You can't see can't it. Can't see it. Can't see it. I'll have to do it in the morning, but what I've got, we've got the Van Gogh Blade 200, and uh, this is where we are. We're on the nudist beach at, um, at St. Osef, that's it, yeah. And we've got our chairs all set up, ready to go. We're going to be doing a bit of cooking. We're also going to do a review on a couple of ciders, um, on what we're drinking, a bit of food. Emma's got her. What you got there? It's got to be beans got and burgers. Wafer, beans and burgers. Be I've made my own ration packs got up. Some snacks there for later. For some sweets. Yeah. yeah, all that normal seat, stuff. Get cold, bit of flapjack. That's it. There yeah. you go. I've got two ciders. I'm going to review tonight, which is. Let's have a look here. Which is the. Uh, the Rattler, original, this looks quite yummy, and we've also got one that Tom Outdoors reviewed that I really like the look of, which is the um, the Chaplin and, uh, was it Corks, that's it, it looks quite nice, so we're going to give that a go tonight, uh, what you got for breakfast there, we're going to do that in the morning, oats, oats we've got some oats, yeah, yeah lovely, yeah. and what right. side are you reviewing well, it's tonight? A, it's a Hertfordshire Cider Company. Strawberry and lime. Okay, give That's it a just go. A cheapie. I got it from, from Home Bargains for a pound. Oh, okay. I didn't want a big heavy bottle. No, no. <laughs> if you would have <laughs> seen, yeah, exactly. But we've got a really good little campsite, so you can't see in there because I've got no bloody yeah. torch. Well, we'll go through it with uh, the stuff inside in the morning. Won't we? Yeah, well, we're going to do. We'll say good night to everyone tonight, anyway. So, so, so there you go. So, right, we'll see you in a little while when we uh, start, cooking. start cooking. See you in a bit. Right, tonight's menu, ladies and gentlemen, is my own dose of ration pack, which is beans and sausages, as you can see cooking right there. And as you know, Emma's got beans and burgers, which she's uh, basically just getting everything ready right now. Just about our little stoves that we've 
Yeah, we've got a stove of choice. Yeah, a stove of choice tonight is the Lexada, which is basically like the Tangier. And I'm using a Japan or Chinese version of the Lexada and Tangier. It's, Tangier, it's yeah. exactly the same, it's just cooking underneath there. Let's see if you can see underneath there. Cook it up nicely. Uh, we've got the cider tonight, which is the Chaplin and Corks, which is actually I quite like. It's quite bitter, but it's quite nice. Um, it's a bit much for me. Yeah, you don't really like it. I can't no, really I see your see. face on here, Emma. Oh, but I've got the the rut. Don't say that. <laughs> got the rutler. Um, I wish I could show you inside the camp. I'm gonna have to show you in the mornings. It is really really dark. But this is basically our setup for the next of this evening. So Just get in there and see what happens. See what happens, yeah. In about two hours, that might be warm enough to eat. Yeah, so we'll give it a go. My, my knockoff spoon that I picked up on the internet for like two pound fifty. Which is titanium. titanium. And as long I'm, as you don't mind waiting about three months for them. Yeah, yeah I think 50. I've got I've got one as well, which is. Oh, I treated em, to. Yeah, so Emma, Emma, pick me one up. One pound twenty died. That one. <laughs> Two pounds fifty-two. Two pounds fifty-two. Okay, while well, we're letting this do if uh, go off, we're going to take a walk down the seafront and have a look. So we're going to um, go for a paddle on the nudist beach. We, we are, yeah. Yeah, but so. we ain't stripping off. <laughs> so, so don't worry. No, we're going to be all right. And then we have we're a nice fire big. and a, a cider and see the night in. So yeah. right, well, we'll see you in a little while. Right, so we're still cooking dinner. It's like about ten minutes. Do you reckon that's took? About that, yeah. It's nearly done. I've just done mine. Yeah, Stu's done. Is the, this is the review that I want to basically do. This is the Japanese or Chinese version of the Tangier. Exactly the same, and it's cooked. Yeah. How much really did you pay for that? Six pound nineteen. Off yeah. Of Amazon, with a stand. With a stand. Yeah. But, I'm but you did have to it. wait for a China delivery. I did, yeah. But I used in the Lexada. Look, look how lazy he is, and he even took the plastic off it. No. Ter terrible. And, uh, and I've made my own ration pack, as I said. <laughs> what what, you, what speciality have you got today? I've got beans and sausages. He's got gourmet yeah. beans and sausages. Yeah. Where I've did got, you get your beans and sausages from? I got it from Morrison's. <laughs> and the little, the little cans. Yeah. yeah the little cans. The little kiddies cans, look. And then got this from the pound shop. Well out of date. But it's 50 50p. 50p. And then in here, I've got a bit of chocolate, some um, Let's have a look. coffee. Um, Mayonnaise is a tracker bar, some milk. These um, are all these sachets he's nicked from McDonald's. Right? Yeah, Mac no, McDonald's and, um, Burger, and uh, Burger, King. Burger King. Yeah, yeah Lots so. of other burger outlets are available. Yeah, loads of more. <laughs> so I've got all that and I, and I bought this, this thing here, to put the, the brush and pack in. So you just sort of like... Sorry, I keep going out of focus. There you go. There's his lunch. And that's <laughs> free... Digestive chocolate biscuits and another tracker bar. Breakfast. And that'll do me with snacks. And uh, that's it, really. Right, there we go. Yeah, so. Sorted. So we're, we're doing all right. We're still we're still alive. We still haven't been caught. No. And we're not too cold, are we? No, it's actually all right. I'm about to light a fire, a small fire. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And no, this is our little setup, look. Yeah. There we go. The Van Gogh. Put our little bits and bobs in there, look. It's holding up all right. It's holding up lovely, it really is. Yeah. I don't really, know if we'll really get pressed. to test the rain yet tonight, but... No. But we'll be all right if it does rain. Yeah, exactly, I thought that. Right, there we go then. Right, let's, uh, we'll, we'll check in again in a bit. See you in a little while. Over and out. Right, and this is our tent for the night. Oh, this is you've the... been vaping and it's all smoky, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke anymore, I vape, yeah. yeah but that's um, more smoky. I know. Um, yeah, I'll Emma's. Show you in the yeah, is I'm it, blind. Yeah, yeah she's blinding herself out. Um, and uh, I've got a hat here. Yeah, and for me, we're going to say good night now. And uh, well, we'll see you in the morning. So hopefully, if this we're goes still alive. The, if, yeah, exactly. So, well, we'll see you in the morning. So this is morning. Is it? It's morning. Are you 
This is Emma first thing in the morning. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. Yeah. But uh, we decided not to have much breakfast because we didn't have the best night's sleep, but we didn't have the worst. It was just... Because it's our first wild camp, I think we were just a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I hope you like the scans of the sun rising, which, which didn't exist. appear to exist this morning. <laughs> but, you know, we were there. That's it. <laughs> but we've been putting our rubbish in a proper bag, so... We'll get cleared up and yeah. we'll start, so... Yeah, it's about half past six, quarter to seven now. So we're just starting to pack up and everything else. It looks like a mess in there, but it looks worse than it's what it is. Mess. It's an organised mess. But yeah, no, nah, give her a little bit of a, yeah, uh, yeah, no one around, it's just me and Emma, first thing in the morning. I thought we might have caught the odd nudist first thing, but no. Yeah, luckily we didn't. <laughs> we caught the old rabbit, that's probably about it so far. But yeah, um, we'll put the camera back on when we, uh, we've all packed up, I suppose, and on our way back. Right, this is uh, us all packed up and ready to uh, head off for about, what, three and a half mile hike back to the car. Yeah. So, as normal, leave no trace. Literally no trace apart from a few bits of squashed grass. Well, yeah, some of those, there's a lot of rubbish here anyway. But yeah. We did pick up a few bits of other people's rubbish. Yeah, here, well. obviously we can't comb the whole beach. No, it's quite, <laughs> this, back, this beach is actually quite no, we got our rubbish. <laughs> we've got our rubbish and we're taking it back, so. Right, okay, we'll see you in a little while. See ya. Right, I think this is the end of our wild camp and our walk. We hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Um, so, any other anything to add? Not really. We got no. back just in time. It's just starting to rain. to rain. Yeah, yeah. we've been really lucky with the weather. It's mainly raining in the morning. Exactly. Our car is just over Stone's Park. Yeah. Five minutes. So and we can't wait to keep this <laughs> No, it's 25 kilos. <laughs> yeah, I think we yeah. need to cut down a little bit. If there's do. anything that we've learned on this little, uh, little outing, is that we don't need chairs and tables. Exactly. We can do without <laughs> bottles of cider. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, well, that's as from fun. exploring wild camping yeah. with Evan Stu, we hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully, see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Built during the Metonionic time, I can't even say it. Why are you doing that? I'll keep you on, Jack.